All right, Paulie and Terry Haddock. They're 16 and 15 right now. Hoping to move up a little bit, potentially get a softer matchup in round number one because the beauty of a pro ladder, no matter where you qualify, if you are able to move up, you get potentially an easier matchup. If you go way, way, way back in the day, and I know we always have some old-timers here at Indy. We love each and every one of you. It used to be number one would race nine, two would race ten, and those were closer in performance matchups. And then when they went to the pro ladder, where one race is 16, two races is 15, and so on. But the old way, I mean, if I qualified number eight, I know I'm going to race the slowest guy in the field. Where's my incentive to move up? If I move up to number five, got to race somebody who's faster. And this way, if you're 16, you move up, you get a softer opponent. If you're three and you move up, you get a softer opponent. So you are rewarded for performance. Paul Lee right now has the incredibly unenvious task of racing Robert Height in round number one. The Not yet he does Cornwell tool cars. That's what I said right now. Yeah. He wants to change that. Historically in funny car racing... Going up against Robert Height in round one is not the path to success. It's still better than watching somebody else do it. No question. And we're uh, operating on what we believe is a pretty safe assumption Robert Height is going to stay number one, just simply because the conditions when he made that run versus the conditions right now. Paul Lee is going to race whoever's number one. Oh, a little happy pipe down there and some smoke out of Terry Haddock's machine. He goes 4203, 280 miles an hour. So Terry's going to stay there. He will race whoever ends up number two. Right now, that would be Bob Tasca. But Paul Lee is in the field. He is going to be part of the Dodge Power Brokers U.S. Nationals on Monday. Terry Haddock can say exactly the same thing. They know they're in. We have a pretty good idea who they're going to race, but we're going to have to wait and see how the rest of it shakes out. At this point, we are jockeying for position.